Dreamina AI has just launched their new Video 3.0 Pro model and it's putting all the other AI video generators to shame. If we're taking a look on the leaderboards of both the text to video model and the image to video model, then we can see that Dreamina 3.0, or you can also call it Cdance 1.0 by ByteDance, is number one on both on these charts. Also in these areas over here, you can see that it's performing better than all the other models out there. One of the reasons Dreamina AI is ranked so high on the leaderboard is because of its multi-shot capabilities. And for years I've been waiting on a feature like this where you can just input one prompt and you can get multiple different angles out of that prompt in one video. Generally speaking making you somewhat of a film director by having full control over the outcome while containing perfect consistency across all the different angles that you shot. We're not only going to take a look at Termina Video 3.0 Pro but we're also going to take a look at their image generator. Supposedly this one is quite good so let's test it out in this video to see how it actually performs. Because with if there's smart image reference, you can create crazy ads like this just by typing in a single prompt. Now that's enough talking, let's dive in and let's see how good it actually is. So when you click on the link in the description down below, you will be brought to dreamina.capcut.com. This is the tool by ByteDance. Now with this tool, you can do a bunch of different things. We will first be starting off with the video generator. So we're going to click on generate right here. And here we can do a bunch of different things. We can create our image prompt or our text prompt. Starting off, we're gonna start with the image prompt because I'm very curious to see how this one will compare with some of my images. So I got this image right here of a maid standing at the counter of a coffee shop, like looking at her cup of coffee. What I then do is you can switch up the model. So for example, right here, you wanna switch from the video 3.0 to video 3.0 Pro. This one is their best model as of right now. You can already generated like this but I'm gonna enter in my prompt to get the best result. So I got a anime waitress that is leaning on the counter beside a steaming cup of coffee as customers walk past in the foreground. The view shifts to a wide shot of the packed cafe filled with customers and the final moment returns to the waitress as she opens one eye and gives a faint smile. The steam rising gently between her hand and the light. So this is multiple angles in one clip. Now for this because it's quite a long shot I'm gonna do 10 seconds. And then for the aspect ratio, I'm gonna keep it at default. So now let's hit generate. That took me like two to three minutes, which was pretty quickly, but let's take a look at the results. So we have people walking in front of the shot. Then we switch to a wide shot of the cafe, close up of this girl, she's kind of like winking at us. While the coffee is at that same time still steaming hot, we have consistency going on. Like honestly, this is this is quite insane. Like this is exactly what I hoped it to be. So yeah, that is our first shot. Here we see how good of the character consistency we have, even though people are walking in front of the shot and we have multiple different camera angles. So let's try this again, but with this image in the heavy rain to see how it handles all of the motion that's going on in this image to video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this again. Now I'm gonna upload my image right here. And now I'm gonna type in my prompt. Rain pours heavily as a woman stands under her transparent umbrella. Streetlights shimmer across the wet pavement, casting warm reflections. A sudden hard cut brings us close, rain cascading softly as she turns her head towards the lens. Her gaze lingers and a faint enigmatic smile begins to form. So yeah, let's see how it does with that. Okay, so this is what we got. So we got her standing in the rain. Rain looks quite natural, the, the rain dripping off her umbrella as well. Then it switches to a close-up of her and she slowly starts to smile. The cut might have happened a little bit earlier in my opinion. Like you can see she already turned her head. But overall the consistency while also having the motion like the, the rain continues. It is quite good. Like I'm quite impressed by this. Let's try this one last time. This time I have an image of a cat that is kind of like hunting the mouse. So I got my prompt right here, which is a small gray mouse sniffs near a cracked stone path in a quiet back, uh, backyard garden. Like the cat is kind of like lunging forward to grab the mouse. Okay, the leap is quite good. It does seem like he's missing it a little bit, but he's, he's doing quite good on this. Like I quite like how fast and how natural the movement is of this leap. Let me know in the comments what you think of this one. Now let's head over to text to video because let's see how good it actually is once we use it for real. So next do a text prompt. 
then what we can do is we can type in our prompt right here. I have my prompt, which is two kids in the attic that are opening a box and they find something in there. So let's see how this works. Okay, let's see. So we got them both opening the box right here. Then we can see they take something from that box and then they look at each other. Now I only did a five second generation here, but honestly, this is quite impressive. Like the movements, I find the most impressive. Like the, the box dynamics, the wiggle there, the paper, like how they hold it. Uh, that's that's for an AI video generated, this is quite good, especially with no reference image at all. Moving on, let's generate a video of a cartoon panda eating some like bamboo and yeah, let's see how it turns out. Okay, we got the chubby panda and he's trying to eat the stick of bamboo, but he just becomes too quiet. Like it, it looks like he's gonna fall asleep. It doesn't break the stick though. He's just like nibbling on it. This one I find quite decent. This could, like I like the grass movement, but I'm not sure where his like left hand or left arm is here. Here I got another video of a woman opening some aluminum foil to review a sweet potato and she's like sharing it with her dog. I think it looks quite realistic. Like the dog especially, he looks real to me. And the, the women, her movements are quite good. Only the aluminum, no, I, I would say this is this is quite good. Only the, the smoke, that's what most AI video generators don't seem to get right. But I'm, I'm quite impressed with this. This one is uh, quite good. And I, I like how good it is like without an image for reference. Next up, I got this kid sprinting through like a, a market where they sell all kinds of like fruits. And I'm just looking at the movement here. It's quite good. I feel like there's not much morphing going on in, in video 3.0 Pro. Like I see a lot of AI video generators that morph a lot. This one doesn't seem to morph that much. Like not at all in this shot, for example. Now let's take a look at the image generator. So to exit the image generator, we go back to the main screen and then we can click generate on the image generator. So with the image generator, it works as follows. You can describe your prompt right here, then you can select your model. So for example, I'm gonna use image 3.0, that is their newest one. Then you can switch over to high 2K, and we're gonna do that for our images. And then you can choose any type of aspect ratio, or you can customize this. So let's do 16 by nine. And now let's do a wheel jumping out of space. Let's actually see what it does with a weird prompt like that. Okay, these images are cool. Here we have this first wheel, and then we have the second. Wow. The third one, and now this one. I, I quite like this one. I think this one might be my favorite. Let's actually use the smart image reference, which works as follows. So here you can upload your image for a reference. So I have this image right here of a perfume. And now we're gonna use that and it will recognize the image and it will draw a reference for us. So for this, you can select different things. So you can do the character. So it will just take the character out there or you can do an object. So now you can see it has taken our object, but I don't want to have our object. I just want to have it custom. So I'm going to leave it like this. Then I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to just prompt it with my prompt, which is a luxurious lipstick tube stands upright surrounded by deep red petals. So what this does is it is using the original image as a reference. And then it's using that style reference and we can make our own images with that. So here we go. Here we have my image style applied onto my new prompt which is this lipstick it looks quite good so we got a few different versions so you can pick your favorite one for example we got this golden one we got this one that one and this one i think my personal preference would go to this one or the second one so this is how you can easily add in the style to your images now you can use this in many different ways so let's start over and let's use a different image i got this one from a kid he's just literally standing in some creepy hallway and i'm just using this as a normal reference so i'm not gonna select something specific but i can now describe what i want to do and i'm gonna say to create a movie poster and add in some text the text that i want to add in is called the unseen it's placed right aligned on the wall so let's see what it does here this is literally a new way to edit your images. You no longer have to use Photoshop. You can just prompt it. So we have four different versions here. We have the unseen when no one is watching exactly on the right side, like I prompted it to do. This one is uh, quite good. Here we have one where it even attached like a different framing style. It changed the, the monster. This one's quite cool. 
this one has messed up the text, but luckily we got four versions. So my favorite one is probably gonna be the first one. This is the cleanest one in my opinion. Okay, lastly, let's try this out with a advertisement. So I got this image of a shoe right here and I wanna replace the shoe with something else. So I'm just gonna tell it straight up to replace the shoe. And if it has good understanding, it knows what to do here. So we're gonna say replace the shoe and here we got this result. We got this first version, exactly same background, but replaced it with a earbuds. Then we got earbuds with a case. Then we got this futuristic looking earbud. And then we got these ones. So let me know in the comments down below which one has your preference, which one is your favorite out of all of the examples that I gave you. Now, if you want to try this out yourself and you want to have access to Video 3.0 Pro, then click the link in the description down below and you can sign up and try this out yourself. If you want to see how this compares in my test against like VO3, then click the video that's on the screen right now and you will see my comparison against some of the most popular AI video generators.